Yo, what is up everyone? Welcome back to some more Yik, a postmodern RPG. I don't remember what I was doing. Oh, I was in the town. The sad town. Alright, um, if I talk to you, will you be mad? What's a foreclosure? You'll learn when you're older. What is he doing? Is he conducting? Divorce isn't so bad, I prefer being alone. You should get married when you grow up, just so you can experience the bliss of divorce. Will do! <laughs> knock knock knock. I guess no one's home. Um, I think I already talked to her. So we have to go to the graveyard next? I'm kind of curious what's in here. You got the stuff. Please tell me you got the stuff. So do you have it? No. Damn. My kid really wanted those pocket monster cards. Pokemon? Pokemon pocket monster. <laughs> Who the hell are you? You looking for Carrie? You'll have to beat that out of me. Why does everyone not like me? Your future is worth investing in, probably. Uh-oh. You have friends. Gaming. Good. Good. Oh, she's kind of weak, actually. What's going on? I think I like screen work by accident or something. I don't know why that one's so easy to get perfect on. Yeah. Eat fist normies. Wow, they called people normies back then. I guess not much has changed. Got him. Alright, skull on the right is almost dead. damage. It's kind of crazy. Nice. Now we can focus on her. It's kind of annoying that like the text box is right over your health bar so it always looks like it's empty. Let's see. I think this should kill maybe. Also my dog is barking. It's kind of weird that they added time energy and then like never elaborated on it. Dog, it's okay. I can feed her dinner in like an hour. Uh oh. Alright, we win this. No matter how bad I play it, we should win on this turn. Dog. Alright, tell me your secrets.
Huh. That was a weird way of looking at the world. Oh, we're close to another level up, at least. Where are the humanistas? A lonely roadside memorial. The name is washed away from the rain. I kind of want to explore this area, even though it's probably nothing. It's playing the cool song again. I think this is my favorite song in the game. <laughs> kind of contemplative, with like an alien feeling to it. Oh no, Alex Yik is trying to call me. Alright, I'm gonna be right back. There's no need to fear. I'm back. What was I doing? Oh yeah, south. South means down in video games. And in real life. I need to figure out a way past the gate, though. Ah, you must be the guardian of the gate. Hello. You're looking for the Mancer's house, huh? Why? Did she give you a key, too? My wife says I need to get rid of the key if I ever want to see my daughter again. But I'd rather die than let someone else see my beautiful leggy candy. Are we gonna steal this guy's key? <laughs> Drunkard attacks drunkenly. Oh, I was off by a little bit. He doesn't seem to be the most uh, damaging guy though. <laughs> I was really hoping you'd just like fall over in one attack and <laughs> just be just like a joke fight. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> just like, oh my bad. 10 damage, that's pretty good. <laughs> At least that attack's not too bad now that I'm used to it. Oh, if you get perfect, it restores PP. That must be it. Too bad you can't get PP back on special moves, though. <laughs> yeah, this guy's not quite as bad as I thought. What? Did I miss the red? Oh wow, critical damage. Probably won't be enough. Alright, cool. That was like, worthless for him. Wow, you're still alive. Probably not after this, though. Drunkard was defeated. Give me your key now. Take this key. My wife thanks you. They live in the house that's fenced off. I don't think they like visitors. Wow. My brothers are playing in the park. I'm not allowed to join them because I'm a spaz. And also, I'm not allowed to talk to strangers. Go away. Poor dude, he's living in a trailer. I should heal. Although it's so far away. Now that I beat that guy, I think I get to go to mine dungeon. Uh, should be good. Hi, Burbly Derbly, how's it going?
Ooh, healing song, nice. That'll be really good. here. Have you seen much of this game before? It's kind of interesting. I don't think I've visited this trailer yet. It might have an encounter, but... Oh, I need to find that guy's Pokemon cards. I'm pressing A, but I can't talk to him. What is the deal? Oh, now I can talk to him. My daughter moved to this low-income commune six weeks ago. I'm just here helping her settle in. I wish she would have just let me pay her Frankton rent. This is Poresville. Oh, there's a trash can. Why do people keep throwing out money? Like, I get throwing out, like, hamburger or whatever if you're, like, ordered food and then you're like, wait, I'm not hungry, I'm a dumbass, and then you throw it out. But, why oh, do you throw out money? <laughs> money doesn't go bad. Let me sneak around back. This is the front door, this isn't the side door. Well, I guess this is the place. Wait, I don't remember if my sound is uh, changed. So do we just knock? It should be good. Let's give it a try. Worst comes to worst, he's sleeping and we wake him up. And who are you guys? I'm Alex. I come from the internet. If anyone ever says this to you, run. Oh, one sec, come in. <laughs> so hey, yeah, I'm Rory, but you probably figured that much out on your own. If not, why would I be letting you into my room? Anyway, what are your names? I'm Alex, this is Vela and Michael. No, I mean, what are your screen names? That's how I know all of you, so that'll be more beneficial. Oh, I'm SNES Man 99 I think that's the first time I've had to say that out loud. Uh, Michael is Veriformer, and Vela isn't cool enough to go on the message board. Hey, aren't you that girl? The one from Windway 87's post about the girl who's ripping up holes in reality in his town? I am. But don't believe everything you read on the internet. You boys take that stuff too seriously. Hey, I invented lying on the internet, so no need to warn me. <laughs> anyway, I'll have my eyes on you. Don't need you ripping a hole in my basement with your mind powers or whatever the hell it is you do. Well, then just remain on my good side. So, Rory, tell us about your sister. When did she disappear? My sister... She vanished about three weeks ago. Went to school one day, left school, and now she's gone. No crazy elevator video of her either, she's just gone. Oh, did your parents get the police involved? No. My parents aren't exactly what you call proactive. They aren't the types that jump to their kids' defense when they're in trouble. Do you think it would be okay if we talked to them? Mm, no, that wouldn't be okay. It's complicated. I see. Well, who else knows that she's missing? This is extremely serious. A teenage girl goes missing and someone needs to be doing something about it. Yeah, but it's... Yeah, okay. You're right. Where do we begin? Well, my sister Carrie started acting weird a few months back. She was having trouble with some girls at school, but nothing she couldn't handle. So one day, things get really weird when I find her in the attic. She was holding some of her baby toys, stuff that's been boxed up for years. I asked her what she was doing, and she said she needed them for gifts. Gifts for kids who had less than she did. So then she left. She took seven things with her. After she vanished, I went around looking for her and I found her toys scattered everywhere. 
Anyway, the weird thing is, each place a toy was found, an accident happened there shortly after. One of the toys was left at an underpass, and the next day, a kid was killed when a car hit him. And I know that sounds like a coincidence, but then at a train station, a woman was robbed, and the guy who grabbed her purse ran into the tracks and got hit by, not the train, but a cop car that lost control and plowed into him. Anyway, this old lady had a heart attack and died the next day at the grocery store right on top of a sewage cap where another toy had been found. You can't tell me all of that is a coincidence. Did anything happen to you personally when you went to these locations? Were you the one who found the toys? I... yeah... yeah to both. But let me... okay, let's just go to the places. I think it would be best for me to show you myself. We got a friend! When we finally left Rory's house, it was evening. Aw, I can't explore the basement. Aw, this is so cool. <laughs> oh, hey! There's a friend up there. Are you scared? I have this theory about physicality and the nature of our universe. It has a lot to do with the temporal nature of our bodies. Basically, I think we all have a set number of days to be in our bodies, and they usually end with our bodies being destroyed. But sometimes, very rarely, we leave our bodies without dying. What exactly happened here, Rory? What makes you say this? Okay, forget that for now. I can't explain it right now. Let's continue the tour. Is that the overpass from the story? Oh, I just noticed there's a pyramid behind him. Hello. The elemental composition of the human body can be looked at from the point of view of either mass composition or atomic composition. The adult male human body is approximately 57% water, and water is 11% hydrogen by mass, but 67% if you count atoms. Most of the mass of the human body is oxygen, but most of the atoms in the human body are hydrogen atoms. What we love to forget is the soul when we talk about our makeup. I don't really believe in souls in a religious sense. I like to think about the soul as our mind. Have you ever imagined what it would be like if we successfully performed a brain transplant, but when the person woke up, they were exactly the same? Like, the brain is a physical part of the conscious, but the moment it's in a new body, the old soul brain or whatever enters back into the body and poof, we're back to being ourselves. Do people really know that the brain contains our thoughts? Yeah, and before you tell me about the science behind it, I know you're right. I just think about this from time to time. You're a bit off on both your science and metaphysics, but you're onto something. Vela didn't shoot him down. She didn't mock him. What? <laughs> In my head, the rational part of my brain was already thinking of a variety of corrections to his ideas. Leave him alone! He's already my favorite character. Although that might just be because of the voice actor. But after this week, I knew pretty much anything was possible. I can't do it here. Okay, let's go to the next spot. I'll try there. Does he have a superpower? I wonder if he's one of those, uh, electronic thingies that tells you where ghosts are. Let me save here.
Sometimes it feels like my sister is still in her room upstairs. And I don't mean to suggest that I forget that she isn't there. It goes beyond that. There are times where I feel like she's physically there. Like, in the same way I can feel my foot is attached to my leg without actually having to touch it with my hand. But she isn't here right now. There is one more place we can check. Let's go back to the overpass. I'll follow you into the dark. Whoa, what just happened there? Oh, the manhole maybe? If we go in there? This is right. I think I can do it here. Okay, someone lift the sewer cap with me. You want to go down there? Yes, I think that would be a good idea. Boys, give him a hand. Okay, so what I'm about to say might sound crazy, but I can prove my theory down here. I think my sister's soul is down here, so let's look for her. Rory, I think you might be a bit... Okay, no, this will be fine. Let's look for her. I just want you to prepare yourself that what you find down here might not be her. Whatever, but I know it's her. I think I watched someone play this part of the game, so it's kind of vaguely familiar. Hello. New type of enemy, maybe? Oh, this is where the samurais are. Do I want to go for the poo. Wow, Michael did his Go best to, to land a blow. I think I did a pretty decent job there. Eh? Bruh. This guy is big resistance. Oh, everyone's weak to different element. I guess I'll protect Bella. Oh wait, no, it protects all. Bella. Right. <laughs> what is this? The Binding of Isaac. <laughs> Look out for number one. Shot. I said no anchovies. I said no anchovies. Wait, what? I was confused because the timing was weird. Oh my gosh. So that's what passive system does. It slows down the thing. Look out for number one. Manhole. 
I said no anchovies. A sheep. Adam. Look out for number one! Wow, Rory, you're only buffing yourself now? I wonder what the RNG is like for that. Struck the enemy in the face. That was a pretty gnarly win. Alright, Chess, what do you got? Dungeon key? That seems useful. I can't go through this tube, no. Part of Hottie Boss. Oh wait, no, I must have entered it. I think it alternates between Rory and Bella, maybe. Kinda. Perfect. Nice. I wonder what the frame window is for hitting a perfect. Is there really no point to this? It's just extra encounter. It's kind of sad. Not quite there, but we can save, I guess. Hopefully there's a heal down here somewhere. Ah, <sighs> double poo. I really wish the fist going back and hitting him actually did damage to him. That would be super sick. I 
seems to be enough. That can be enough to deal with Man another. Hole. No, we're good. I have something that should help us clear these rocks. It's a tool called Amp. I'm going to lend you this old base. Crank it up to 11 and strum the strings and la dee da, the rocks will explode. it a billion times. <laughs> I'm guessing a monster will come out of one of these. Nope. Oh, is this how you get through those Mr. Island guys? It's kinda neat, I guess. <laughs> I was about to use it. I've got a tool that will help you here, I think. It's called Hair Whip. It's my signature move. Basically, you let your bangs fall into your eyes and jerk your head forward while turking your shoulders. If you do this just right, you should be able to cut through small bushes. Oh, that's a major luck down. I don't know, she doesn't really need help if I just dodge things. Uh, I could maybe, like... Go back and get that chest I left? I think I just have to put the cat in it. I'm kinda heavily hitting that that's the way to do it. Number one. 
Oh, so he attacks with fire, I guess. Just like thunder of the whatever. I attack with rock. Open your eyes to the sign of the times. Kind of doubt it. She barks a lot. It's not always because there's something there. Oh, who is weak to rock? I guess because of porta potties. Heal, fog. Look out for number one. <laughs> that was a weird hiccup. I wonder if LP toss is good. I don't think I've used it yet. I am bad. Don't oh, worry. Oh, come on. Wow. Marie's kind of a gamer, though. Perfect. Does that give? Oh yeah, that gives a lot of PP. Yeah. Look out for number one. This smash, it would be like Rory slows things down. And he'd have like a slowing field or something cool. Although, I guess his pacifism wouldn't be uh, super great for a fighting game. Perfect. So, I think as long as I get good at Planning Vel is perfect, I don't really have to worry about healing items. Aside from boss battles, I guess. Can I walk through this? I can. Hog. Oh, do I need uh, to stop by the mine dungeon? Yeah, I probably should. It feels like such a waste to come and then upgrade one thing and leave. Oh, 
Any lady protests? Why? Why is it a no instead of yes? There's not that much to do in the mind dungeon. <laughs> So the time. Oh, when you go the mind in it, you get a full heal, I guess. I'm gonna make you look so good. Number one. Ah! Oh! <laughs> Righteous. Game that common enemies can attack all four at once. I said no anchovies. Like, uh, being mad thing got cut off by me speeding up time. Oh, now that ladder's usable. I might be saving too much, but after that crash earlier... I kinda don't wanna not save. Where did Rory's sister go? I had to open it in a cool way. Is this bonus or is this the main path? I'm kind of curious. God, I love being an adolescent monstrosity samurai tortoise.
What? That's so confusing the way that works. Not fans of the anchovies. have a lot of help. Oh, it really annoys me that it doesn't play the third sound, it goes da-da. And there's just no, uh... kind of curious if I want to offset being annoyed by the slowdown could I just speed up the attack when the attack Rory <laughs> I have to say I do like the combat in this but this dungeon in particular is just so many enemies. I guess I could just play on the, the easy story mode or whatever so battles aren't so long. So it's like this isn't really difficult. It's just you wait. Just die. You can do it. Oh my gosh, he's alive. I said no anchovies. Just die. Wow. That is a lot of money though. Would you kill two turtles for a hundred dollars? What? Why did the door break there? That was weird. Oh, are there three different keys blocked by three different- yeah. That's kind of neat. Two 
Two's only one bodacious master, ass kicking. Rembrandt. It doesn't let you press A on the red on the second go around sometimes. Twenty three hit combo. Wow. Look out for number one. <laughs> Righteous. I'm gonna make you look so good! Right in the manhole! The cursor is pointing at Alex, but it's actually pointing at Rory. Stat swap. Oh no, Samurai Tortoise is feeling good. Scary. I'm gonna make you look so good! Right in the manhole! <laughs> I got a perfect so I can actually use them for manhole. Alex I said no anchovies. Alright, you should be dead after your next attack, I think. Dude! Did that last shot crit? What the heck? I only get crits when like they're already dead. Why why do you grow back? That is annoying. Alright, let's go get the last key, presumably. Art is not what you see, but what you make others see. Just like my radical blade. 
Yeah. Go to shell. This guy is back up, which means he's probably weaker than the rest. Yeah, so that's good at least. Alright, time to use my shirt. Ow! Oh. Oh. They got their shirt kicked in. <laughs> Get it? See, that's how I got to the red. It's kind of weird. Feels like my team is like invincible. Alright, let's do it again. Ow! That one wasn't super <gasps> good. <gasps> of course, they're all resistant to my AoE. Maybe I should just try to get a perfect so I can get the uh, LP of toss off and see if that's stronger. Yeah, see, even if I miss, I only take one damage. Alex. Alex. Go to shell. I'd rather fight these guys first because I think they have less health. That was so early, and it was still good. Look out for number one. Go to shell. For number one, go to shell. <laughs> Whenever I'm hitting the perfect, it's actually so hard on that. It looks like it wouldn't be that bad. Okay, good. It doesn't actually heal him, Pog. It's like, oh my gosh, he has a heal. But it wasn't really a good heal. Alright, you should be a goner, Pog. I got a pizza. We did a gamers, and we got pizza. Oh yeah, there's a chest. Alright, we have all the key- I'm sorry, Rat, I didn't mean to walk on you. I should probably save. I really don't want to fight all of them again. Crack! I can probably upgrade at this point. I fought like a billion guys. What do you say? Thank you. Oh, is this where I meet the librarian? Oh, not yet. 
eat that. Alright, after whatever comes next, be it boss or cutscene or whatever, probably gonna end it for the day, because I'm hungry. Let's see what's in here though. Alright, we have sandwiches. I like root beer more than actual alcohol. Oh my, do I really have to mash for all these? Come on, game. Alright, just let me in. I did all my big boy homework. Give me the cool boss. Oh, Rory, you are so wrong. So wrong. Can't you see her too? That's my sister. That's Carrie. Oh shit! It's an entity! We need to get the hell out of here! Wait. We need to remain calm. We need to try and talk to him. Carrie, Carrie, I brought some friends. This is Alex, Michael, and Bella. They're gonna help us. Rory, that isn't your sister. It's- Shut up. That's Carrie. Can't you feel it? It's so familiar. I can prove it. She understands what I'm feeling, what I'm thinking. I've never been this close to anyone. Trust me, it's her! Rory, that's not Carrie. Rory, that's you. What? What the hell are you talking about? That's your sole survivor. Your spirit, your consciousness. How can that be? I'm right here. Bella, what the hell is going on? You need to explain this. Rory, what really happened to your sister? Something about your story doesn't add up. Let me hear the truth. Rory, please. I'm here to help you. Did your sister really vanish? No. She... She jumped off the overpass. Rory, that's... that's terrible. Why... did she do it? What the hell kind of question is that? It was those bastards at school. Stupid shitty girls always ragging on her, going out of their way to make her feel bad, picking on her for being my sister. Ugh! This is all my fault. It's all because of me, because of what I'm like, you know? How did you find this place, Rory? When did you first see your soul survivor? It was two weeks after she died. I found her things. I came down there thinking she fell down or something. I don't know. And then I thought, I thought about dying too. I wanted to die. I needed to get away from this world. I needed to find her. But you knew she was dead, didn't you? Of course. But I... It's okay. You can tell me. I'm not judging anything you say here. Tell me all of it. I surrendered myself to the ether. To the realm outside of this one. You know what I'm talking about, don't you, Bella? I do. Go on. What happened when you left your body? I didn't get far. 
I separated from my physical form and then I saw my body and my sister, which you say is me. Did you leave the earth? I was so close. I was so far away. And then I saw it, the sole survivor, the entity, whatever the hell you called it. Rory, please listen to me carefully. You left your body when you surrendered yourself to your misery. You abandoned this physical form, and your soul was about to enter the soul space. But what you saw was not your sister. That soul over there is not hers. It is yours. I've traveled the soul space, and I understand what I am seeing when I look at the entities. I see the marks of your soul, and I can tell you that that is another you. Somewhere out there in the soul space, this you left his world and stumbled on yours. That's you from another plane. It's likely it was experiencing the same suffering as you. What? I don't understand. Fella, can you please explain what's going on here? Pain is inevitable. Suffering is optional. I understand what you were feeling. This depression is unbearable. I can't take it anymore. The depression pain part is an unavoidable reality. But whether or not you can overcome it is up to you. You decide if you're going to keep going. Your sister is gone. There's no changing that. But traveling the soul space is incredibly dangerous. And if you're not careful, you'll end up like him. You can't help but feel the pain. But you can get through the suffering. That will go away. Look, I know it's easy for me to say. I'm not the one whose sister is dead. But you have to understand that I am telling you the true reality of the situation. You're playing with some otherworldly dangers here. After reality, I find a similar scenario. Children playing a game they don't understand. No matter. As I have time and time again, I will remove your illicit presences. Soul Traveler, I sentence you to soul death. You will reside in this reality no more. And it is also disappointing. Reality after reality, I find a similar scenario. Children playing a game they don't understand. No matter, as I have time and time again, I will remove your illicit presences. Starting with you. The paralleled one. Interesting. You shouldn't be here either, chance traveler. And you, stitched into reality's fabric for dramatic effect. Playing the childhood mate, you don't belong. Perhaps the similarities between this scenario and the others are only surface level. Soul traveler, I sentence you to soul death. 
you will reside in this reality no more. And now you. How will you justify your continued existence? This actually works. I'm not sure if that did damage or not. time as I can in case you're not supposed to auto lose too fast.
Look out for number one. Yeah, this is scripted then. I'm guessing when that warning runs out is when the fight ends. I can actually make the warning go down. Okay. This might work. Potential. I mean, he does take damage. It's either that or he gets half HP and then dies. So I just have to wait and use Vanish whenever the warning goes up. Okay, so when I kill him, I have to make sure the Sun Survivor isn't there. And we should be good, I think. I'm making sick. I'm gonna make you look so good!
Alright, Rory, you can have one Ambrosia. That's uh, our food budget for the next year. I somehow <laughs> missed the entire red strip there. We're dead now if he can call in twice. Good. It lasts pretty long though. Okay, uh, we might still be good then.
I have to be careful now. Alex! So that does 21. while you and Rory talked in riddles and ignored my questions. This is insane. What is a soul survivor? Calm down, Alex. I'll explain it now. I haven't been intentionally leaving you in the dark, so don't act like I'm some anime character. The text box is purple. Just pointing that out. <laughs> oh, fine, just... This is too much. Deep breaths, Alex. Michael's taking this better than you are. By now you've seen enough visual proof that what I am going to tell you isn't a lie. I need you to understand that I don't have all the answers. I can only say what I know to be true from my experiences. I get it. Spit it out already, Vela. What you just saw was a soul survivor or an entity. Both names are acceptable. These beings are a visual representation of a soul that has escaped from its body. You see, it is entirely possible for a human being to separate their soul from their body. In doing so, you leave behind your physical form, and more often, you can't retrieve it. The separation of mind, or soul if you will, from the body can only be achieved by accepting an existence of a non-physical nature. A human usually stumbles on this facet of reality after undergoing a transformation of a grave nature. In Rory's case, it was the loss of his sister that pushed him towards exchanging his physical nature for a metaphysical one. This is where things are about to get strange, so please bear with me. Our souls do not belong to ourselves, in the traditional sense of the word belong. Our souls are shared by otherworldly versions of you, me, and everyone else. There is an Alex out there, in another world, who has the same soul, but different life experiences. A soul survivor is a soul that has left his physical form, as well as his reality, and entered into a world where a physical version of his or her soul already exists. So who's the one we saw in the factory? Is that the soul survivor of the girl? Normally, when you abandon your physical form, you become an omnipotent entity who exists just in their own reality. You can't return to your body once you've left it behind. Soul survivors are souls whose realities have been destroyed and they manage to leave their reality in hope of finding a physical form. So that being right there is Rory, a different Rory, one whose reality was destroyed and he's attempted to find a physical reality to exist in. But how do you know all this? Because I have left my physical body, surfed and explored the soul space, and come to understand the nature of the universe. But you have a physical form. How did you return to your body when you say it isn't possible? This is not my reality, Alex. There was another me here and she left. I was able to take her physical space because her soul had already left this world. And what is the soul space? The soul space is... How do I explain this? Okay. Imagine a ring. In this ring is a series of worlds. When one world is destroyed, the soul space shrinks and the ring gets smaller. When a soul leaves their location in the soul space, another soul of the same origin like another me, 
can take its place and regain physical form. This is crazy. How did you figure all this out? That's personal. Look, what leads people to find the soul space is different for each person, and I'm not going to share that with you. This is all fine and shit, but it doesn't bring my sister back. Soul space, minds, realities, all that shit. Who even cares? So that's fake Rory. What happened to normal Rory? I guess he got depressed and left. And then this Rory was in another reality. I wonder if they switch places. Rory. It's okay. Take a deep breath with me. Cut it with the deep breaths! This isn't okay! L let's get out of this sewer. I can explain this better in the fresh air. We hear a faint electrical crackling, and a hint of life crosses behind the eyes of the sleeping figure. But as soon as it appears, it fades imperceptibly to a flicker. We confer on our thoughts on the machine and decide that there is activity inside of its circuits. We refrain from referring to it as alive, as logic and science dictate that this is only an emulation of life. This creature has no feelings, no desires, no wants. The following week or so, my mood was strangely languid and serene. Bella's words buzzed in my ears, like a bee hovering around my head. It was waiting to sting, waiting to have its full impact. From my bedroom window, you could see blooming green leaves of summer popping up here and there on the rolling suburban hills, their branches reaching up to the sky like magic ropes. I hadn't spoken with Michael, Vella, or Rory in almost eight days. Michael was stuck in his house, pretending to study for finals. I actually zoned out for the last two words of that, so now I don't know what they are. <laughs> Bro moment. And taking her cue from the other women in my life, Bella vanished. I had gone to the Franklin Arcade hoping to see her each day, but she wasn't around. I spoke with her manager, a Korean man, about Bella and Sammy but he offered very little information. She said she needed to take some time off, so I gave it to her. Lots of help, thank you. See you later, jackass. I hadn't spoken with Rory since that night either. As soon as we got out, Vela went into depth on her soul survivors and metaphysics, and he ran off saying he needed to clear his head. Shit. Okay, so listen up. Since a soul survivor has spent a lot of time down here, it's likely we're going to find some very strange things. Let's call them, um, breaks in reality. You may have seen some before, so relax. Don't freak out if you see them. Our goal is to get outside where we can talk safely. No, not here. I want to try something. Wow. That's a pretty good chest. I might not necessarily continue on the save, because it might be ruined. Uh, that is if that's not intentional. Hang on, how do I leave again? That fixed it. So 
so does that mean that he's down here if I beat him? Huh, I don't see him. Where are you learning to heal? That's pretty useful. I want to check what happens if you lose there, if the same pink text shows up. And I'll probably save the normal... Oh, this isn't skippable. Oh, Rory, you are so wrong. So I'll probably save wrong. the normal Can't ending one too? on slot That's 5. That's my sister! That's Carrie! But I'm curious. Oh shit! It's an entity! We need to get the hell out of here! Alright, I'm gonna let this play out. Just chill out for a bit. Check my Twitter. Wait. We need to remain calm. We need to try and talk to him. I brought some friends. This is Alex, Michael, and Bella. They're gonna help us. Rory, that isn't your sister. It's... Shut up! That's Carrie. Can't you feel it? It's so familiar. I can prove it. She understands what I'm feeling, what I'm thinking. I've never been this close to anyone. Trust me, it's her! Rory, that's not Carrie. Rory. That's you. What? What the hell are you talking about? That's your soul survivor. Your spirit, your consciousness. How can that be? I'm right here. Vela, what the hell is going on? You need to explain this. Rory. What really happened to your sister? Something about your story doesn't add up. Let me hear the truth. Rory, please. I'm here to help you. Did your sister really vanish? No. She... She jumped off the overpass. Rory, that's... That's terrible. Why did she do it? What the hell kind of question is that? It was those bastards at school. Stupid, shitty girls always ragging on her, going out of their way to make her feel bad, picking on her for being my sister. Ugh! This is all my fault. It's all because of me, because of what I'm like, you know? How did you find this place, Rory? When did you first see your soul survivor? It was two weeks after she died. I found her things. I came down there thinking she fell down, or something. I don't know. And then, I thought... I thought about dying too. I wanted to die. I needed to get away from this world. I needed to find her. But you knew she was dead, didn't you? Of course. But... I... It's okay. You can tell me. I'm not judging anything you say here. Tell me all of it. I surrendered myself to the ether, to the realm outside of this one. You know what I'm talking about, don't you, Bella? I do. Go on. 
What happened when you left your body? I didn't get far. I separated from my physical form, and then I saw my body and my sister, which you say is me. Did you leave the Earth? I was so close. I was so far away. And then I saw it. The sole survivor. The entity. Whatever the hell you called it. Rory, please listen to me carefully. You left your body when you surrendered yourself to your misery. You abandoned this physical form, and your soul was about to enter the soul space. But what you saw was not your sister. That soul over there is not hers. It is yours. I've traveled the soul space, and I understand what I am seeing when I look at the entities. I see the marks of your soul, and I can tell you that that is another you. Somewhere out there in the soul space, this you left his world and stumbled on yours. That's you from another plane. It's likely it was experiencing the same suffering as you. What? I don't understand. Fella, can you please explain what's going on here? Pain is inevitable. Suffering is optional. I understand what you were feeling. This depression is unbearable. I can't take it anymore. The depression pain part is an unavoidable reality. But whether or not you can overcome it is up to you. You decide if you're going to keep going. Your sister is gone. There's no changing that. But traveling the soul space is incredibly dangerous. And if you're not careful, you'll end up like him. You can't help but feel the pain. But you can get through the suffering. That will go away. Look, I know it's easy for me to say. I'm not the one whose sister is dead. But you have to understand that I am telling you the true reality of the situation. You're playing with some otherworldly dangers here. After reality, I find a similar scenario. Children playing a game they don't understand. No matter, as I have time and time again, I will remove. Oh wait, this part I want to pay attention to. Soul traveler. So golden alpaca shows up out of nowhere death. and kills you Alex, and then. Reality. What is he even mad about? Oh, hey, X. Yeah, so Alex fucking dies, and then they go to the universe with the green screen or whatever. And at the end of it, they're back in the sewer. Confuse the heck out of me. I really like that part. That part's neat. This is disgusting. And <laughs> it is also disappointing. <laughs> really on that is actually <laughs> I find a similar scenario. Children playing a game they I don't understand. No matter, as I have time and time again, I will remove your illicit presences. Starting with you, the paralleled one. Interesting. You shouldn't be here either, chance traveler, and you, stitched into reality's fabric for dramatic effect. Playing the childhood mate, you don't belong. Perhaps the similarities between this scenario and the others are only surface level. 
Soul Traveler, I sentence you to soul death. You will reside in this reality no more! Wait, so in that silhouette part, does Rory kill the alpaca? With a sword? Because that looks like Rory's silhouette after throwing something. I don't know, I might have to go frame by frame and analyze this. Oh no, that's the other Rory dying. Is that and what's going on? You. How will you justify your continued existence? Ignorant construct. Okay, right, let's see what happens when the warning thing happens. I should switch their target so I don't have to wait. So ex to uh, explain why I'm not really Bella. focusing on the battle here, I already did this and I won, but it glitched out the game. So I'm seeing what happens if you lose. Because I'm worried if I keep playing on the glitched out save file, it'll like crash late game or something. Because I've had games do that to me before. Anyways, yeah, so if I wait, he should absorb the thingy, and then the warning will go up, and then probably he wins. And that's what's supposed to happen. Oh, I should focus on not letting Rory die, though. I'll heal him after this turn. Right, there we go. Alright. So I don't use Banish. Because I want to lose. So I want to heal Rory. Lots to object to about this game, but I'm liking it. Alright, good to hear. Yeah, though, that, that last cutscene was a trip. It was like 10 minutes too, I think. Alex. I did really like it. On the first viewing, I didn't really pay much attention to it the second viewing. Although maybe I could have analyzed it better. I don't know, it was confusing. I just have to assume they're gonna explain it, because they do explain things pretty well. Sometimes it just takes a while. get absorbed here, and then something will happen with the warning. That's what I think will happen anyways. Maybe I should just be poor for normal battles, because it actually still does some damage. Stat swap. 
Sasquatch. Alright. Now do your cool whatever. Do your uh, insta murder move if you have one. Or are you supposed to win this maybe? What happens after the warning? Look out for number one! I assumed it would just be a... Uh... Oh, huh, that's weird. It's not quite an insta-kill. But it is still possible to lose to him. Look out for number one! I'm just gonna stop defending. I hate that it freaking changes your targeting. I don't know, they might still have something cool that happens if you, uh... I don't know, what would have caused that text thing if it wasn't winning? That's not as scary as I thought. Alright, at least have something cool happen if you lose to this guy. So you are supposed to win, what? What's the deal with the pink text then? That's crazy. <laughs> Alright, at least I know now, so I don't have to be worried about it crashing later. The thing that made me think it was a bug was that, um, for the cutscene, the four character models, the cutscene after I won the first time, the four character models weren't moving, they were just staring at the camera. And I thought there's no way that's intentional. <laughs> also the text boxes were auto-advancing, which I don't think they normally did. But that might just be because cutscene. Man, I don't know why the text was pink then. Weird game. But I'll play more of it later. If you enjoyed this episode of Yik, leave a like, check by the stream where I play this game live, and I will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.